This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So you may be thinking, why couldn't we just add external IP addresses to our internal DNS server and have people out on the Internet access our internal DNS server? Well, what would happen is your internal users would query phxdc01, let's say, to try to contact our Exchange server, and it would return the external IP address. Well, then in order to contact PHX Exchange 01, that request would be sent out to the firewall. The firewall would then network address translate it into the internal IP address of PHX Exchange 01. And a lot of times that doesn't work right for various networking reasons. If it does end up working, well, it's not very efficient because basically you're taxing the firewall and normally you're you're going through different subnets in order to contact a server and that is very inefficient another reason is we normally don't want people out on the internet contacting our internal DNS servers because it's gonna give away IP addresses that are on our internal network also and we definitely don't want that so that's more of a security issue so that's why we don't have one internal DNS server and just have everybody contact the internal DNS server we break it up with external DNS and internal DNS